Hey guys, we're back and ready to do the second floor. For our best magic build of 3.0. Um, let's see, do we need any more class items? I don't think we do. I think we have all three that we wanted. Yeah. Alright, so what else do we got here? We got minions, experience, items. I don't think we need items either. I think we're looking for artifacts mostly, right? So where are artifacts? There's one there and there's one there. Okay, we definitely want to go that way. So the question is, do we want to get experience or an item? I think we want the item. So let's see how we do against the dwarves. Okay. Pop in our stance. This is going to be a bit of a test for the... Um, Tanking of the Black Widow, these guys do do quite a bit of damage, especially as they get more and more hurt. I'm wondering if we should give her a little hand here. Eh. Let's just see how she does. Give a little slowdown. And it ignite. Looks like she's holding up our right. own. Nice of one of the didn't attack her though. We're stancing in. So I learned that in the Battle of Eternal, so I guess the, the tooltip, or not the tooltip, but the uh, patch notes were wrong. So that explains it. So it's basically going to give you plus spell power, vigor, whatever your spell power is. And I guess we've got 12 spell power. I know we're getting 10 from the Witch. And I guess we're getting two from somewhere else. So we're going to be getting 62 healing. So if we wanted to fire that off, we could. 62 healing for 85 mana isn't great. I will say that much. I much preferred the cost reduction. Now let's see here. 35, you've got a dot for 21. I guess we could just throw another ignite on you and you'll probably die. Yeah, we calculated that right. I'm not sure the Black Widow is going to get out of here totally healthy, but... Get the claw down. Make sure we get the kill. And then we'll try to stall a little bit here. Not too much. Let's get a couple more ticks here on the Black Widow. We can probably claw you without killing him. I don't know. We killed him. A sad display for mortal All right. I don't think we need that. Just put that away. Alright, so now we get Mocking Slap, which deals an additional 50% magic damage if the target's on fire. And I believe that works with this. Set the target's on fire, yep. And it'll also work with our Armageddon. So we should start thinking about using Armageddon soon. The big problem with it, of course, is that the zombie doesn't have any kind of resistance to it, and no wards or anything like that, so... We're kind of waiting to get a unit that's got a ward. Like, for example, our... Dampier is all the way up to level 9. I think we can continue to park her. We'll probably use her on the third floor, and we'll probably run her out right of position 2. But for now, I'm pretty happy with the way the team's going. Let's see what we get here. Um, these are all kind of six one half dozen the other. We're not going to use any of them. I think the shade is one that we're going to use to upgrade something in the graveyard. So we'll take that. This should be another easy fight. Looks like the black widow managed to kill up full. It's going to start opening that we always do. Um, let's do the front two here. Dwarven Warrior. I remember him having resistance. Is that new? I'm not sure. So you notice we're not using the ultimate on the Unfrozen, and that's because we're trying to save up over 75%. Grass so that we get that extra tick. So you'll see here. Here's the next one. You'll see the Black Widow will get two 
heals here. So there's the 10 and there's the 5. So let's get an extra 5 per turn. Become part of the breathless That's pretty significant. And we're pretty much coming through these guys anyway. He's probably dead. Nice. My will is a tide that will wash away your pathetic civilization. We're just going right through these guys. See what we get for an item. Okay. Don't think we need any of the Dresser's Visitors. Maybe a Sadist Hand. It's pretty good. Maybe we should think about using some of these items. Wonder. I think we want to use Vampire Fangs here. That's best because we don't have any way to heal the unfrozen. Zombies already got two items. Black Widow's already got two items. Lich's already got. No, maybe we're just not using that. We'll just run with this for now. See how we do. We'll try to get to these artifacts and hopefully get something game breaking. All right, we got a couple of warded up dudes back here, so we'll use the dewarding ability on our Black Widow. That's going to expose our zombie to some attacks. So we'll probably get a trench loading on him ASAP. Put that up now. Just to mitigate some damage. We don't have any way to pull this guy forward, unfortunately, so we'll just go back in our stance. Continue. Building up the stacks of minus initiative. Um, question is, do we want to get this ward off or do we want to take out the front two? I think we want to take out the front two. We'll let incidental strikes from the, the lich take that off. Or not. It's fine. Oh, goodness. All right, well, that's not good. So how are we going to deal with this nearly dead witch? It's probably not going to get hit anymore because of the positioning of the Berserker. He's probably okay, but... All units. It's still their units. We'll just... Hey. Finish that guy off. Move those mortal just in case. And we'll just continue our assault. And we'll let the the little heal that he gets at the beginning of the turn slowly heal him back up. I don't think there's going to be any physical damage going back there. I believe that the the pistol attack is a, is a magic attack. So even if we do see that, we'll be fine. Get one right back. Alrighty. Which will probably be okay. We'll just leave him for now. Looks like we're going to get a guaranteed artifact out of this, so that's good. I haven't really been getting very many artifacts this run. So if the guy's leveled up, Black Widow, nothing yet. Zombie, nothing yet. We're just going straight attack with him. Unfrozen, nothing yet. No, look at that. Everybody leveled up and nobody's taken anything. Well, I guess the Witch did not. The rest of them did, though. So let's check our artifact. Well, this would be phenomenal if we were actually playing the stress composition. So I think we'll take the Glass Dagger. Last dagger is quite good, especially on units with uh, blocks and wards. And, you know, Frozen has two blocks and two wards. Which has two wards. When we get around to Armageddoning, that will do 15% extra damage and, of course, 15% accuracy. So that'll be good. So here we're going to focus on the Elite Oracle. She's a tremendous pain in the butt. Not a lot of fun to have. 
Another team. Probably look to get her on fire and then cast our Mocking Slap. We'll do that now. A little while before it comes around to us, but she's ready to go. She just has a variety of super irritating abilities like this Doom. Don't really want damage on him double. Nobody asked us. Well, that's, that's irritating. Looks like she's going to die to the AoE from the Unfrozen though, so that's good. So now we don't have to worry about her anymore. That Lich attack is starting to get quite a bit heavier as he levels up. Still be enough left to reanimate. God, look at that. No, 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 not my Black Widow. Alright, we got no choice here. We're gonna hit the battle of turn. Well, let me see. Maybe we'll be alright. He's gonna lose this damage is doubled after this turn anyway. It's not gonna have to deal with it. Let's just kill all this stuff. Um, what do you got? Yeah, that's fine. I'll make sure he dies and get the traitor, whatever he is. Where he is, traitor, yeah. The claw for extra damage. It's a shame that our Lich took that damage there. We were hoping that, uh, get a nice heal up here. Probably have to start the next fight with the Battle Eternal. Too good of a beating. Another blue armor. We still don't need that. I wonder if uh did you use armor? No. That would have been too good. Alright, so we need four more for Bone Obelisk, eight more for Skullfall. I wonder if we want to wait that long, or if we want to grab the dispel. Not having dispel in that last fight was pretty punishing. We also get this plus five evasion, so that's something to think about. We do have enough to upgrade our library to the last level, so we'll grab a vampire. Just pop him in there. <laughs> Which level up? Still doesn't have enough for attack. All right, so we could actually heal here, but that would be passing up our chest. So if we go this way, we get heal, elite fight, heal. If we go this way, we get chest, digger, soul, chest. I mean, this way is just better. Looking for artifacts here. Let's see what we got instead of going the other way. All means and gain 18 evasion. Heratus gets 16 spell power. All means get three attack and three dead. Well, it's kind of whiffed here. I usually like this a lot, but we're not doing a dodge comp. We'll just take the spell power. It's probably better than the drums, considering that we're starting to use spells. Yeah, we're not going to be using that. Not going to be using that. Not going to be using that. Maybe the four armor and four resistance is better than the spell power. It probably is. We'll sit on it for now. Go in, deal with this elite trader. It'll be a bit of a pain in the butt. But he's in a position where we can pull his wards off. Actually, but not gonna get any wards. All right, so we are gonna start this with the battle eternal, and we'll see how what this looks like. Yeah, we got mostly healed up, so that's fine. A little PO'd that the oracle's in the back here, and we can't get her to the front, so that sucks. So we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do about that. We certainly can't leave her in the back to just cast her buffs and double damage and all that nonsense. So we'll... Oh, she lost her ward, so that's good. Let's just hit her with the... with the burn and then we'll drop a mocking slap on her again. There's the double damage. We almost killed her. That's a good hit, huh? That is a good hit. 
And let's just hope that our, our black wave is getting gibbed right here. Right, that was okay. Now, the only attack I'm worried about is this one. I don't think that's going to be enough to kill. So I think what we'll do is we'll just go... We use our ultimate here. Try to take out the oracle in one shot. It's pretty close. Let's go over here. No. Is she dead though? 18 to 21. She's got 9 hit points. So she's already dead. Boy, that's a, just a... What are we going to do with this? This is not good. And on the bright side, it's not this guy. Didn't we say we were pretty sure this guy wasn't going to kill her? I guess we're going to find out. 62, we can do up to 37, so it's just not... Can't change our luck here. So she's either going to die or she's not. That's fortunate. Okay, so we don't have enough for them to battle eternal. We could mockingly slap here. I think we're going to do it actually on the Berserker. Hopefully get them both low enough that we can hit them with the Unfrozen. Because that's 33 damage with a 23 burn, so you only need to do 10 damage. So that ought to do it. Especially since we've got our Dwarven Warrior coming back up. Another 23 damage here. I'll just get him with the pistol. He should expire, and that leaves us one on one against the Elite Trader. He can be pretty irritating, but I think we'll be alright. Now, the question is do we want to use our magic attack here, or do we want to boost an ally? I think we actually want to boost an ally here. Um. Now the problem is if we boost him and move him forward, then we're going to move the zombie out of position. So that's not good. Maybe we just need to get the black wave to deal with it. Put the claw on here. Unfortunately, we're back around the widow, so... I do wish she had a different attack that we could use occasionally, but... The shrapnel ability is just too good to not use. Situation hasn't changed. Oh, actually, we've got 34 here now. All right, so what we want is we want Wrath. We have Wrath, then we can start using the Dampier. The Dampier should be a little more, well, probably not more resilient than the zombie, but certainly more resilient to Ring of Fire. And not enough to get our next level. What do we got here? Just a bunch of normals. No elites, no problem. Uh. <laughs> Alright, musketeer first, obviously. The same thing that we did before, we'll light him up with a fire and then we'll hit him with the mocking slap. These guys are doing a good job of stripping our blocks and wards. Setting us up for later. Um. Yeah, let's clear those blocks and wards. Get the heavy damage out there. Do the front two, and that'll set up our mocking slap here. Ah, oh, that's a nice hit, huh? Alright, so you're taking 21, and you've got 46. And you're acting next, okay. We'll just use a single target here to make sure that he bites it. Instead of using our AOE. As worthless as you were in life. Which is I'd like to use our AOE there. In death. We'll get the back ward here with our AOE. We get to work with the Lich. This build just does so much damage. Um I guess we'll ult here. We're pretty good on health. We don't really need the ticking regeneration. With two of them left, the witch will make sure it works open anyway. Can't kill either, so we'll hit both. Ouch. 
back in our stance. Ultimate again. Really hoping to take that out. 26, he's dead already. We go same target. Switch it up. Mop up the gore. I Good damage. Plants using it as fertilizer. All right, 76 sticker souls now. We can get the headhunter here. And I'm going to guess that that's probably enough to make the swap to the, the damp here if we want to. I think our best brain's an 11. So what would we do? We vampire fang it? Probably. Or do we bull skull it if it's going in position 2? It's always a consideration. Now we can just go with the sadist hand. I think eventually we're going to go with the burning curse that has the on hit ability, but I think for now we'll do the sadist hands. We'll put the damp here and we'll see how she does. We won't completely bench the zombie yet. We'll just put them away. Let's see, what are we doing here? This is actually being in position two is kind of neat because now we can use. Well, this one moves her up, so we don't want to use that one. But this one doesn't. So this one restores mana. That's kind of cool. There's 18 to 20 damage, 100%. This one does 18, 20. And restores vigor equals 50%. So the question is, do we want to... It's only 25% of mana. What's this? This is 10 or 15. I guess it's just critical hits, right? It's not like this is ever going to happen. Do the vigor. Well, my minion. Or maybe we should have taken that for the uh, attack power. Ah, oh, we get crit out of that. Six to one, half dozen the other. Um, we're not going to use this very often. Doesn't miss is a pretty good, interesting one to put on the side that has the plus accuracy. That's Interesting. We'll take the plus accuracy anyway. Don't think we care about either one of these, and we definitely want health more than dread, so we'll do that. And we're not taking a trap. We're just going to go straight up attack here. Black Widow. We'll take the kick. Can't get any health, so we'll pass. Unfrozen has an attack point unlocked. Just such an aggressive team here. We'll take the bigger heal here. And yeah, let's see how these guys do. First, we'll collect our artifact. It's another shackles. <laughs> Six resistance is pretty good. Toss it with a rest. Take that. Situationally better than the minus ward. But not in well, maybe it's Geomancer, right? Does, or no, the Geomancer does physical damage. Yeah, these guys all do physical damage except for the treasure. It's actually kind of a rough fight for the Dampier to get her feet wet in, but. Let's give her some. Evasion as we work our way up to the spell here. Is the spell the best spell in the game now? It might be. I think it was third on my list of top five spells after Battle Eternal and Finger of Death. We haven't tried Finger of Death yet though, so. Wow, look at all this nonsense we got going on over here. Alright, so. Most dangerous is probably the Geomancer, so we'll pull him forward. Strip all those blocks and wards. There go all of our awards on one shot. That was a nice little. I oh, should do a tutorial for the dwarves. Here we go. And then our ultimate's up. Problem with this is we won't really get the ticking bonus for our guys anymore, but 
is powerful enough to... Oh. We just took out that guy. That was good. Oh shit. Fortunately he had a block. We're gonna need to do a battle heal here at some point. Try to take out the... Musketeer first. Oh, okay. So now we're in a position where we can use this. So this is a physical attack, right? Guess we just do that. It's better than having her in the back. I like her here. Because she can actually contribute something if we don't have Wrath for Ultimate. Well, there goes the. The Unfrozen. I'd like to take out one more unit before we heal. I think we can grab this musketeer and then if, even if we can't, we can finish him off. We can get him low, finish him off. He won't act and then we can heal on the lich turn. Of life. Let me just go EOE, we should get him. Nice. All right, then we'll get our heal just for the... The bugger here. Did he heal? Maybe he was lower than I thought he was. He's low now. So yeah, new battle eternal. Not great. Not great at all. This ignores block, but not armor. Fortunately, Lord Warner doesn't seem to have any armor. No idea what happened to his armor. I didn't. All right. Dampier's doing stuff here. Ooh, Ring of Purity. This is actually a good item. It's just, fortunately, the ring slot it always seems that we've got something better. But maybe not now. Maybe this is, maybe it is time for that. Maybe it is time to make the switch. Lich leveled up. Get point of attack and a point of, whatever that was. Just really looking for the crit there. Could take the toxic cloud that gets rid of all um, armor resistance, but eh. Oh wow, okay. That fight's gonna be a piece of work. Alright. Alright, so we got Elite Hammer, Elite Heavy Fire Thrower here. Just want to clear the block some words off of the hammer to start. And then... Fire Thrower is all the way up to the front, huh? Maybe we wait here, maybe we can generate some mana. I think we wait here too, because... I suspect the hammer is going to go into his stance, and then we can pull him forward, break the stance, and then also break the fire thrower's path to the front. So we'll just throw this in there, see how that does. Yeah, so he got his stance, so we'll pull him forward, breaks his stance, and moves him back, and now we've got everything kind of worked out perfectly there. Now we've got the Wrath to use our ultimate. This is way back now. Let's back up to the front again. Did he always move forward two? I thought he moved forward one. It feels... Oh, this is on here now? Yeah, this was never two forward. This wasn't that. It was one forward before. So this got changed. It's like a stealth... Um, buff or nerf or whatever you want to call it. Alright, so again, I think we wait here. I don't think we can quite take out the fire thrower. Not even close, really. So I think what we do is put the claw on him and then hope that the lich hits him. And that should do okay. Almost. All right, we're gonna have to deal with that stance. Um, he 
You could use the Black Widow to kill this. It's only 18. Black Widow does 10 to 14. Okay, well, we probably don't want to do that then. Maybe we just want to use this to restore vigor. Oh, okay. Just miss. That works too. So maybe we'll just deal with you that way. Go back to our stance. Now we'll just start working. Oh, we were supposed to get rid of this galvanic stance. That's a disaster. Oh, come on. Oh, this, don't, doesn't this break stances? It does. <laughs> That's right. That's right, my little stress stance. Take that. Not congratulating yourself for sacrifice or for uh, salvaging your screw up. He's still in galvanic stance, so we'll get him out of it. He wants to keep going back in it, that's great. We need to get rid of this dude because he's going to start doing hellacious damage. Oh, <laughs> retaliation, that's nice. How are we doing that? Restores vigor, yeah. Wait, that's not the one. That's this one. Stores Vigor. I wonder if there's any chance that we would get some decent value out of that stance normally. Probably not. Probably just better out there than this. <laughs> it's tough to beat that. Alright, so your Galvanic stance. So even though we can kill this guy, we're going to get you out of it. It's too much damage. Get him with the zap. Good enough for all to finish you off. Oh, there's the crow paw. But that's that's not the one we want. That's the stress one. I can't remember the name of the other one. I want the one that does the burn. If that one will be happy. All right, we're one off of getting our dispel, which will help us quite a bit. I don't really think we need accuracy because we're doing pretty well here. Six vigor is not a bad amount. We've only got one upgrade to go here though, so why don't we max out the uh, attack before we start doing other stuff. 77 dagger souls too. That's enough for another boat of wrath. We got the uh, blunt phantasm. I haven't seen a new skin yet. Let's check that out. Eh. That's hideous. You know, I, I love this game. I think the skins are just pretty trash. Oh, that's 100. My bad. We'll save it for it. Uh, this will be a Radis EXP, right? Yeah, let's get our let's get our dispel. With knowledge it's only 25 mana minus six. So it's 19 mana. It's a nice cheap ability. Let's dodge here. And looks like we got a forced elite fight coming up with an elite geomancer. So we'll see how I do on that one. And we got an elite trader here. So it could be a couple of difficult fights, difficult sequence, especially since we have to pull this Geomancer. Or do we have to pull the Geomancer? I don't think we do. I don't think we have to pull the Geomancer. We'll just go on her stance. We need to protect this damp here. Can't have her taking a beating. It's like I'm looking at these guys and they're all dangerous. Like the Berserker does a ton of damage. The Geomancer does a ton of damage. The fire thrower gets front, he does a ton of damage, and the trader's probably the most annoying one of all, so. I don't know, let's just kill them all. Maybe we just go on the one that's got the most life missing. That could be our philosophy for this. Kill the one the lich likes to hit. We're gonna need a battle eternal this game. 36 
not even close. We kill with this, so we will. Oh, durable. We don't have any abilities that can be 36, so. This does 32. This does 25 plus 12. That'll do it. Move those mortal legs. It's nice and cheap. Alright, let's which one's next. The Geomancer, you say? Alright, 50 damage. We have nothing that does 50 damage. Really. We'll top up our Wrath there. Um, we use our or do our magic here? Let's get rid of those buffs. Hopefully the Lich will get rid of this Geomancer first. No, but... We'll use that, even though we didn't need the full attack. Um, we don't want him doing a spray, so we'll move his friend up. Delay it for a turn. I'll do it now. You're gonna kill him with that. That was foolish. Did you kill him? I think you kill him. Oh, you're kidding me. You mother. If we battle heal here, we're not gonna be able to kill him. If we don't battle heal here, we're totally screwed for the next elite fight. Blood and yeah. We had to. There's nothing we could do. Although he only got, gained 50 life. Maybe we can still kill him. Let's do what we can. Take some more fire ticks. Damage ourselves. Alright, well, I guess the heal was the right plan. Alright, armor plates, that's something that might help out our Black Widow. And you know, the reality is we don't need. Well. You know, she's having trouble getting damage from everybody. I don't think she can afford the Alabaster. Only worry about the Elite, so I think she needs the flat reduction across the board. So we'll go with that. Still looking for exclusively damaged stats, which is why everyone feels like a glass cannon. I don't think there's anything we need here. We'll probably take the item that isn't. No, well, never mind. We're never going to use that. Most likely it dies, probably then frozen, so we'll grab an extra. This looks pretty interesting. We'll get our wrath upgrade here to make our damp here. Dangerous as possible. It's definitely a place to use a consumable. I think we've been saving this creepy doll for a situation like this. And this is a mainly physical attack. It's not a ridiculous amount of resistance. I feel like this is good. All right, let's see how we do. Right, they've all gone bonkers. Berserk. Weakness. Panic. That's good. Trail on the Musketeer. That's great. I don't think we strip wards here. I think we need to protect the Dampier from assault. We rely on our magic casters to strip wards on their own, especially the damp here who can just go right here on the geomancer. My kingdom comes. Strip two wards at relatively low cost. Let's we'll do an AoE here. Get another one. Throw that out there. Ouch. 
Alright, I don't think we're going to be casting a spell this turn. Through pain. So let's tick forward and grab our stance. Hey, aren't you supposed to be attacking that one? <laughs> what attacking me for, man? 75%. That's not good. Alright, come on, Lich. Probably almost get the Geomancer here. Probably not quite. Oh, my, we got him. That was a barely got. No one's in a stance. We'll fire off our AoE. Let's get everyone marginally lower. Let's get him out of the Galvanic stance. Fire off a Witch Strike. Get to work on this guy. And he should attack him and kill him. <laughs> Close. Ah. Get both. Yeah. All right. Well, we were worried about that, but that went quite well. Uh, no. No. A Dampier level up, not enough for her attack. I'll be a couple of levels yet. Grab some souls. Probably have enough wrath now that we're gonna get some focus on some other areas, namely the mana. We have enough for a lich. Yeah. Oh wait, what do we have here? Shade. We got a shade to spend. All right, I'll buy a lich. Might I use this one sparingly if I care for my minions? Hmm? <laughs> All right, let's pop that lich in there. And I think the unfrozen. This time we just popped in that the fangs. We've got an extra fang, so if you know. End up losing them. Can have a replacement. We'll use this rags here. Oh, forgot the arm. Unfrozen used armor. Definitely need to start getting some items for the damp here. No, no, yes. No. Ooh, double sniper. They're all normals though, no elites. All right, so we're up against two snipers here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the lich in the freeze as soon as we can. Get a nice shot off before she goes in though, so that's good. So we'll freeze him up. One cycle should get him to the top if she doesn't die. And then we'll, oh, that was so close, four hit points. We're going to take care of these snipers first. No, no, we can't hit position four, can we? No, but you can. Um, as long as we're here, it doesn't really matter. We're not protecting the damp here, so... Well, we were aiming for the Geomancer, but that's fine. We got one. We're going to wait here, see if we can get enough wrath for our ultimate ability. Let me damp here. Right, we need to get him out of that stance. Let's do some damage to this musketeer. He's got 18 life left. This does 10 to 14. Gonna hope this hits. That doesn't sound very productive. We just need to Born was your first mistake. Opposing me. Fortunately, this leaves our damp here exposed up front again. Even if we do this, we're not gonna be able to get our stance. So we'll just trust that the vamp damp here will do fine. Get this guy out of the stance. That will help. Which is back. I see to join us. 
This seems kind of weird, but maybe we'll maybe we'll go into our stance here because this will let us straight back. Well, not if knocks out of our stance, but we want to go back there anyway, so that works. And we'll just do another heal here. We'll let the Lich polish him off as the main damage here. Forward. Pain. I'm about to be up here to finish healing here. 61, this does 45, so we kill him on a crit. We do it anyway with the witch coming up behind us. Yeah. Not healed up. Of course, now our lich takes the beating. I think we just. Get out of this one, or maybe we, we can get one healer. We can get another heal here. Oh, block! Bad move. Bad move for some sure. uh, Let's just switch him off. A sad display. We'll regret our mistakes. More levels. Okay, finally got a little more vigor here. Maxed it out. That's great. We can start working on armor and resistances. Frozen looks good. Which looks good. Let's get in there, get a little more digger souls. And let's spread this around a little bit. So the Banshee. The other one, a let's see, I don't remember. This is this a zombie? No, skeleton. Yeah, we'll pop the skeleton in there for safekeeping. Yeesh. Alright, well, we gotta get on that uh, elite berserker right away. And have him wheeling on our fragile black widow or our damp here. Um, yeah, we don't have any self heal on. Let's just do it. We're gonna regenerate a lot of that mana with the uh, witch anyway. Question is, what do we do here? I think we just want Berserker, isn't that what we said we were going to do? So let's see, what are we doing? So 15 mana goes up to. It's 11 mana per cast on the Lich. That's pretty good. Can we do 60? Probably not. Seems unlikely. So far off in AoE. That wasn't too bad. Now we're going to move our special ring over here so we remember to use it. It also regenerates mana. I'm not going to screw around, just do the full ult on him. And then we'll get rid of this backboard with the AOE. Do a little more extra damage. I guess the flamethrower is going to get us here. Not much you can do about that. Maybe we could use the pull. That might have been smarter. We got the spell now, so. Bob's your uncle. I guess we'll put that here because we'll probably want to take out this ring off now that we've got the spell. Do similar things. Alright, let's. Oh, okay, never mind. I guess we've got to burst the fire thrower then. Hope the lich targets him. That was nice. 
that's the treasure or whatever trader moved up and moved him out of position and he moved back. That was a complete waste of time by then. That was great. Otherwise we would have had to waste more of your spell. Oh, there he goes. Oh, jeez, we are just taking a beating here. Come on, really? Well, this is trouble. There we go. Finish one off. Don't have time to screw around here. Get the F out of here. Let me do what this ward. Clear with any of Could have put the lich in the in the freeze there. That might have been a better idea. Would always come up with a better idea right after the act. Come up with a better idea before we act. That would be the better way to do it. A little mana back here. Let's see, does it kill the lich? Ugh. Let's put the lich in the cocoon. I guess we're not going to go off. Those you defended. Kapow. A sad display. Well, we need to use a calcination here. We don't have enough mana to cast Battle Eternal going into the next fight. And if I'm not mistaken, it's going to have at least one lead in it. Let's get down here. I guess we'll take a rest. I mean, we're spending a lot on the Rousey XP here, but to be fair, Born Obelisk is worth it. It's going to do 70, 87 damage and a stun. Hopefully that'll be the ticket. I'm still waiting. All right, what do we got here? We got Tank Guy, Berserker Guy. I mean... Prophet doesn't do any actual damage. The flamethrower only does damage from the front row. The Berserker will generally only attack the Black Widow. And Tanky Dude doesn't do much damage. Is it insane to go? Yes, it is insane. Completely insane. We've got stuff that we're not using here. Let's do a distillation. We'll get rid of these brains. We're never going to use these brains. Uh, skeleton will clean Barely moved the lich. Maybe we sit the damp here down here and do this fight without ultimates so that we get some ticking regen. That sounds like a plan. Don't think we need to heal the damp here or anything. We just put her in there. The attack here. Results. Um, let me go from here. Probably evasion. All right, let's try this next fight with no ultimates and a very hurt lich that we'll put immediately into a nice box. Let's go in our stance. Hopefully, what's your butt doesn't cause too much trouble. That's annoying. Right to the front. We could just do a rain of fire here. Yeah, why not? Let's hurt everybody. And we'll heal our own guys. We'll also get that one buff on our side. I don't feel like there's a need to trench load here, but I am a little concerned about this turtle advance. Let's hit him. These two guys are heavily armored, so let's hit them with the magic spell. Do the pull here to prevent the AoE attack. That That is so irritating. I'm going to have to find a way to deal with that. 
I don't even think we can afford to put the Lich in stasis. We need to burn everything down. Because we're just going to be constantly... There we go. Now we've got him up front regardless. Um... It doesn't act until way over here. That's after the Unfrozen, so we don't need to use our cannonball to knock him out of the way. We can do up to 42 here. He's taking 32. That's 74. He's got 86 hit points. Oh, no. How about a crit? And then I might even get a heal here. Let's get rid of that double damage. Nobody wants that. Get their boots here. And then... If we pull the Berserker, we're just going to kill him. So we might as well just kill him. In the world. And hope for a good hit here from the Lich. And yeah, we've got enough for the Q. And now you run away. Bye bye for you. My will is a tide that will wash away your pathetic civilizations. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Which is still badly hurt. Our whole plan of switching those two did absolutely not what we were looking for, but getting close to the end here. If we can get through this somehow. These alchemists aren't that difficult. What they do is they buff the team, right? And if we've got to spell them, we're not as worried about that. So maybe we can nurse this lich through a little bit more. Um, yeah, just armor and resistance the rest of the way for him. Sacrificial altar. Actually, hang on. Is there something we want here? I guess we want a Radice XP just because we're going for those two expensive spells. It costs four each. We've already got the Obelisk, but the other one, the, the AoE ability. So we need that. We will pop the book in. My undead features. No. All right, so elite flamethrower, two buffers, and a galvanizer. All right, so we got to nurse our way through this fight. Let's cut rid of these blocks and wards. Figure out what we're going to do about the fire thrower. We don't have mana here yet. Could stun him. But I would like to get in the Battle Eternal in at some point, so that wouldn't be ideal. Maybe we use a trap. That way he can't move forward. That would be helpful. Think about that. Um. AoE here, mostly for the minus initiative. We're going to have to do the spell. Although, I think we've got Battle Eternal right here. Yeah, we're going to jump on that. Looks like he managed to get out of there anyway, which is kind of BS. So we'll pull forward the... Well, I guess he won't move. Oh no! What are we going to do? Our trap is screwing us! All right, let's just go hand on this guy down. Hit the fire kill. We still have no wrath. I guess we used it with the unfrozen. No. Let's just hit him. It's got so much armor that it's kind of ineffective. Buffed to... Oh, God. Well, we had wards everywhere, so it's not that bad. Holy, look at this ticking damage. 36 to 50. Alright, we're gonna mocking... No, not mocking slab. What's the one we're looking for? 
Bone apples. We don't have the mana. Right, let's clear these wards and get him out of that stance. Oh, but he doesn't get out of the stance because he's in there. That's just lovely. It's the last time we cast a trap. <laughs> All right. We want to not get hit with this. We're going to need to hopefully get hit by... Need to kill him right... Well, how much damage is this? 32 plus 26. That looks like 32 we plus 20. All right, good. You son of a... That guy was in the phone. And now I'm worried about the... Black Widow. Just killed her only damage dealer. Life vanishes from this world. Jesus. She's taking an absolute thrashing this round. Can we afford to cast our spell here? I mean, barely. Probably shouldn't risk it. Move the damp here up instead. To take advantage of that buff. Oh. Fortunately, I feel like we have a fountain coming. Next, but man, we have just been getting thrashed here. This one into furniture. Take our stance. Just want to require a non-ultimate. And now we've snookered ourselves by making ourselves hit our damp here. A now that was not a well executed fight by us. I'm disappointed with myself. But we got through it. I think it was tricky. Let's hurry over here. We'll get our full vigor. Let's go back and see what we're getting here. Get our ultimates. Take the 10 health here. Everything else is kind of irrelevant. Alright, which one do we want here? We want lose all resistance, lose all resistance. What is the difference here again? Oh yeah, this one's Certainly better and more expensive. Well, Got it. Minion. Okay with that. We're still waiting for the last tick of attack. We we'll always know which one we take with the unfrozen. A little more initiative here. Now we've got Armageddon. Serve me well, my so that's great. We're going to start using it now. Probably means we want some initiative, but let's get that last point of attack first. Double Geomancer, huh? Alright, double Geomancers are not ideal, but what can we do to facilitate an Armageddon here? Could pull this guy, but we don't really need to because we're going to knock it off with the unfrozen the weak stance here. Knock off that ward, and then we'll Armageddon now. Get three of theirs and one of ours. And then we'll follow up with a spell to get rid of the debuff. Gonna we'll wait on our damp here to try to get some mana for her alt. That's unfortunate. We're gonna beating on our lich there. So, he's dead if we hit him, he'll burn out next turn. AoE yeah, here. Back to regular attacks of the Lich, which are also pretty damaging. Okay, I'm glad that went to the tank. So. Dangerous attack on pretty much any unit. Finish 
off the Zerk. Back in our stance. Um, big claw here. Soften him up for the damp here. That went well. As your suffering ends, your service begins. Is that gonna be enough for Yes, it is going to be enough. Alright, what else do we got here? We don't have any flesh or Oh, that's all we got. All right, so we've got 69 mana. We've got a Hurt Lich. And we've got the Inventor fight. The Inventor fight should be really easy for us, I think. Let's just take the Vigor. Question is, do we want Dampier or... These guys push push you around. I think they do. I feel like they do knock you out of position. So if we're going to be getting knocked out of position, maybe we want to stick with the damp here. So one of the nice things about the new Battle Eternal is that it doesn't heal the bosses to full. Because it only does a flat amount of damage instead of the whole amount of damage. So that's a bit of a stealth buff to Battle Eternal when it comes to boss fights. Just exclusively boss fights, not, not uh, hallway fights or anything else, just boss fights. This will be your end. So that's something that we got going for us. Who's our AoE here? Trying to get multiple pylons into kill range. Don't really mean to do that, but alright. Whipped out anyway. Not so much that part of it. Gotta remember when the Fallen Damper steps up not to nuke her with the edge. That would be preferable. Strength through pain. Could have dispelled there to get rid of the stun, but I think having her in position one was more important. that here. That was a good hit, actually. Alright, another AOE. Just to help out a bit. Looks like they are targeting our Black Widow more than you would if you were strategizing this with a human. It's probably going to do some repairs here, I think, right? No? We'll take it. Big away. Push this off of the spit. All three pylons, that's right. Worthless as you that's nice. Life, you will be worth something in death. <laughs> get four actions a turn. All right, let's use a dispel here. Get rid of the lich stun and all the wards. At least a bunch of them. Get these supportive pylons out of here. I want them healing him. We're buffing him. We're stunning us. Let's go with another spell here. Take out this one. Hits the pylons. Got rid 
the one supporter pile. We got one left now. Um. Yeah. I think you're better off in your stance most of the time. Not get fancy. We'll just kill the supporter pile on. Doing pretty good here. Never switched out our rings, so we can actually get rid of these through the ward with that ring special ability. So that's excellent. We we'll get the wards off of that supportive pylon as best we can. You will soon embrace your new Hopefully, the lich tags are here. No, oh, got a good chunk out of the other one though. Oh, jeez. Oh, the good news is they're on Frozen X first, so... We can use Dispel to get rid of all the stuns. 15 damage. We can do... 14 with this. Come on. <laughs> Hoping for a crit there. Um... Just use an normal attack here. More materials. I didn't think we can get that other pile on. No. Only one stun this time. How are we doing on buffs here? Oh, now we got two stuns. Alright. Get rid of those stuns again. Get rid of his buffs. Okay, well, this bit should do it. Nice. Need some crits here to do this one, but get a low anyway. Not so much it hurt being low. That could have been very stun though, so I'm glad that we got him doing something else. Come on, Lich. Good job. Ouch. Right, let's bring away that one. Destroying a little bit of Manatus in the process. Pretty good on health, so we'll just throw an attack. Make them well, it looks like we have passed the DPS check. This fight can be pretty different, but difficult with those Eternal Harvest double tank builds. Not this build. Can we take this defensive pile off? Ooh, hope there will still no. be enough left to reanimate. These two, but then we won't be able to ult with our vampires, so. Turns out we didn't need to ult with our vampire. That's alright though. We'll take the ticking heal. One or two more rounds, and we'll be out of here. This is such a long fight. Boy. Alright, well, we'll do another. I'm getting mileage out of this dispel, let me tell you. Look how low my damp here is, though. 
So we can cast a double eternal next turn. Or, well, I guess we'll just kill him, probably. You know, interestingly enough, if we had the Lich Cloud, even though he's got 999 resistances, we'd be able to kill him. We didn't take that one, though. Okay, so best way to do this... We're going to use a spell here. Hope there will still be enough left to re As long as that dies, we win. Don't see any reason to risk it. Move those Good stuff. Alright folks, that's the second floor done. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe.